<laughs> Enjoy the views. I will. <laughs> Right, so here we go. <laughs> right, so we're off on the 10k. Let's see how this uh, this live stream manages. I'll try and hold the camera as steadily as I can, uh, but I'm not promising anything. <laughs> Uh, also, there will not be a lot of talking because I'm carrying quite a lot of weight on my back and uh, I won't be able to chat to you, so just enjoy the views. <laughs> Jason, the race organiser, did tell me this is closer to 11k than 10. So uh, just bear that in mind. Thank you, Marshall. Okay. So just a little bit of road running to get us onto the coast path. As we go into the low areas of the run, um, just warning you, the signal may deteriorate. So you may, I may disappear for a few seconds or a minute or so before I get back up onto the higher ground. So do be aware of that. See, if this was the marathon, I'd be walking up this now. 
as it's the 10k I feel obliged to run. So that is all three races today now off and running. We've got the marathon off at nine o'clock, the 16 miler at half nine, and it's just after 10 o'clock and we're off and running in the 10K. So when we get to the top here, we just cut off to the left and we start on the coastal route. Thank you. So Dulston National Nature Reserve and Country Park. Here we go. This is all still part of the marathon route. And we've already done a kilometre. Just heading to the coast. I've just pressed record on the camera because just in case this stream doesn't actually work um, from three kilometers in to the end we'll have a proper recording of it so that'll be good through one of the styles well done, buddy and a young climber down there oh sorry mate oh, sorry. Gently undulating course on the coast path here.
and then you get quite rocky sections like this where uh, you do need to watch your footing a little bit more southwest coast path is all like this lots of this stuff And then lots of this stuff as well, nice soft grass to run on. And we'll walk up this hill, turn the camera around. There's the view behind. And uh, yeah, making the most of it, people taking their, getting their pictures taken with the beautiful <laughs> view behind. You've got to do it though, haven't you? It's so beautiful. Yeah. So it's really warm. I'm starting to sweat quite a lot now. Uh, three and a half K in. Morning guys. Hi there. Uh, obviously I'm not looking at Facebook or YouTube chats. I'm sorry I can't do that. And run and hold the camera all at the same time. What I am hoping is there is some signal so you can see what's going on. Turn it around the other way. That's it. Look at that. So we're not quite halfway there yet. Yeah, this four kilometers look. I don't know what these masts are because it doesn't seem to be anything at the top of them. but that's four kilometers done. Look at that beautiful view. And you can see runners in the distance stretching out ahead on the 10K. 
the marathon runners and the 16 mile runners have all come this way the ultra runners yesterday did it twice Doing all right? Yeah, you good? Yeah, not too bad. Wish I wasn't carrying this heavy backpack, but apart from that, I'm all right. Want to go to my mind, I'll get you to your back. <laughs> So we're now at 100 metres of elevation gain. Go on, mate. It's all right. It's fine. Thank you. So climbing these hills onto your tiptoes, use your calf muscles. It's um, it's uh, easy to think that just going flat-footed up these hills is easier but once you get some strength in your calves it's actually easier to go on your tiptoes or on the balls of your feet and you're less likely to get injured that way as well if you go flat footed you're much more likely to pull your calf muscle especially up steep inclines Yeah, right, buddy. Right. So what happens at uh, five or so k is uh, we uh, go inland a bit and come back in the same direction. Well, I mean, back on ourselves, but on a different path just inland from the coast. So here we are at three miles now. And as you all know, five kilometers is 3.1 miles. But as Jason told me at the beginning, it is more like 11 kilometers than 10. So still not quite halfway.
So again, sections like this look, lots of loose rock, stones, all need to just be careful when you're running through them. Last thing you want to do is trip on a stone and face plant. I think that three mile marker was a little bit early. Still 200 meters to go till we get to 5K. And look at this terrain here, look. Rocky, difficult. So there's the 5K marker. I've still got 100 meters on my watch before 5K. That's okay. My backpack is all open again, I can feel. And there's five kilometers on my watch, just ticked over. I'll need to get somebody to zip me up again, I think. All right, buddy. Can I ask you to do me? Oh, actually, I'll ask this. Yeah, you, you go on. Yeah. Can I ask you to do me a favour? Can you zip up my backpack at the back? There's, I think the zip's on this side and it goes over to the other side. Keeps coming undone. Oh. I didn't anticipate this happening. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, you got a leader, that's why. Yeah, yeah. It just it does keep coming open. I didn't. It when I'm walking around, it doesn't normally come open, but because oh, yeah. I'm running, oh, yeah. it's it's decided it's going to come open. So. The yeah. Thank you very much for that. So now we are going to go inland. I think in a minute and uh, climb away from the coast path and I think it's quite a steep ascent. Here we go, look. So there's the arrow, there's the marshal directing us inland and look, there's a very steep climb here. I can see runners in the distance there at the top of that hill, so that's where we're going. So it's going to take us a little while to get up that hill. Thank you, Marshall. You're welcome. Enjoy it. <laughs> well, I am doing so far. It's lovely. Well, nice to do value for money. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so say goodbye to the view and the sea there. Although, I'm sure we'll have a great view from the top of the hill as well when we get there. But there will definitely be walking up the hill. And there might be a good signal at the top of the hill as well, so hopefully your picture will improve. How are you feeling? Oh, it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's getting harder now with this hill, look. Are you coming for your own use or? Uh, for the perfect uh, marathon hate, uh, staff um, company. I haven't done this one before. You haven't? No. 
beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. You do the 16 mile, you should go all the way along there. Yeah. yeah, I've got a few friends doing that one. Yeah. What's your name? Karen. Karen, where are you from? Uh, Litchit, so I ran with Litchit and the Striders. Oh yeah, so local. Yes. Okay. Yeah, my friend's running, this is her first race ever. So. Wow. Okay. Well, this is my, well, obviously it's the first time I've done the 10K because they've not run it before, but um, I've done the marathon Have you? three times. Wow. But it, every time I do it, I get slower. <laughs> it's very, very hard. I bet it is. Yes, I'm doing the um, White Star Jurassic half. Oh, yes, that'll be great. Yes, awesome. So that'll be tough too, but lovely. Yeah. Right, here we go up this hill. <laughs> Get your marching boots on. Absolutely. That's 170 metres of elevation so far. And a little bit more climbing to do. Look at that down there, isn't that gorgeous? Nice bit of climbing. Onto the balls of your feet. Get those calf muscles working. Beautiful. Hello buddy, yes. What a scene. <laughs> okay, top of that hill. Almost 6k in. There's a 6k sign. So between 4 and 5k to go.
Wow, look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? It is. Enjoying it, guys? See what? That is beautiful. It is hot. You're right. Absolutely stunning. Doing a good race? Yeah, well, if I wasn't carrying this heavy backpack, yeah. <laughs> but yes, I'm enjoying it. Cheers. So you can see the marshal at the bottom of the hill there where we've just come from. I don't think there are any more runners. And uh, we're running along this top path now. So whether this takes us all the way back, that'd be nice because we're still in sight of the sea. So that's lovely. I had a feeling we were walking, going inland and we wouldn't see the sea anymore. But no, we're going back on the top path. So that's good. And I've not run on this path before, so it's a nice change. Oh, there are one or two runners still down there, look, making their way along. going inland again a bit here. Hi right, guys. Guy wearing a Centurion vest there. where we are, Isle of Purbeck, Purbeck running weekend 10k race, inaugural 10k race. Ready? Right. How you feeling? Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Dom, Dominic. Dom, nice to meet you, Dom. Yeah. Where are you from? Christchurch, just over the bay. Okay. So, a little drive over this morning, a little run. Well, six and two threes. Taking the way. Right, you're right. Are you local? Uh, no, uh, Worthing. Oh, great. 
so but I uh, I come over here a lot to do races in Dorset oh right cool. nice part of the world to run in glorious again just be careful over these rocks here Nearly went. So seven kilometers in, there's the seven kilometer mark, although my watch still says another 150 meters before we get to 7K, but that's all right. And uh, 48 minutes, so nearly 50 minutes into the run. And three or four K to go. Wow, another good view. So over the stile. <laughs> I won't film it. Yes. So you can see runners quite a long way out there ahead of us in the distance now. That's my 7K just ticked over. And this is beautiful. And it's still, there's no wind. There's a bit of a breeze when you're on the top of the hill at Swanage. But here, we're kind of protected from that wind a bit. It's coming from the other side, so um, it's it's almost still just a little a little gentle gust every so often. And one of these stone steps to go over. Oh, a bit rocky. Got to be careful down here though. I haven't got my hands to steady me. There we are.
Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I can see a sailing boat out there on the uh, water as well. So we're starting to round the headland again now, so the wind will increase once we get round the corner. Seven and a half K in. Let's say three to go from here, shall we? Hiya. Good Hiya. Having to hold the camera so steady like this makes me appreciate my other cameras which have automatic stabilisation so I don't really need to worry about whether I'm shaking the camera around or not. Um, well, it looks to me like there's an arrow. There's an arrow that way, and people have gone that way, and people have gone that way. Oh, how interesting. Okay. Well, it does seem to say through this gate, doesn't it? So, okay, so we have a slight navigation question. We're not entirely sure where we're supposed to be going. Well, there's an arrow there. There's an arrow there. That has to be the route there. So... Okay, some people have definitely run the wrong way because there is definitely an arrow here telling us that this is dire the direction we should be running. So, unfortunately, it might be that some people have taken the wrong route. Definitely some people over there are going the wrong way. We might win the race now. I did say at the start that there was two ways to go. Oh really? How much so... a 16 mile route. Oh. So don't go the wrong way. Uh well I hope this isn't the 16 mile route. Or we'll be running a long way. Well it doesn't make it clear though, does it? Yeah, there should be a marshal Um this is a route, so, so this might take us to the sand um, pit, wh whatever place it's called. You know, the proper end. Oh, that's now that, yes, that's interesting. Okay, so we might actually be on the 16 mile route, which takes us back. Oh, there's Marshall, yeah, okay, so we might be right then. We, we can ask her whether, we're, whether this is a 16 mile route or not. Oh, 
Hi there. So we're in the 10k race. Are we on the right route? Well, absolutely. So everyone else has gone wrong. A lot of people have gone wrong. Okay. A lot of people have gone wrong, but I don't know how to help them. No. Okay, so we are on the correct 10k route. But it was an easy mistake to make, I think. Can I trouble you in, in front for one minute? Yeah, no I'm so sorry, my backpack keeps coming undone. You if you can just do the zip, the, the zip this side this to side, that side. side. Yeah, the lady in front did it for me earlier on. It just keeps... I've never used this backpack before for running, so I didn't know it was going to do this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, will that, do you think that they'll... If they're on the six, they can't be on the 16 no, mile no, route. Just yeah, they're just going to go a, a different. <laughs> Mind you, what they'll probably find is there's no markers, so yeah. they'll turn back, won't they? What's your name? Emma. Emma, thanks for helping me, Emma. No worries. <laughs> and uh, is 10k your distance? Yeah, I've done half before, but I'm not ready for a half yet, so. Yeah, so you. 10k is a good one to do at the minute. Yeah, good for you. Where are you from? Um, I live in Surrey. Okay. Yeah. So did you come down today especially for this? Uh, we came down yesterday and did the 5k. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were the one. I might have yeah. spoken to you yesterday then. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but it was nice. We just uh, yeah. nice to get a week in the way. Absolutely. So it might be back next year. Yeah. 16 mile. Well, I've been back every four years on the trot. I've been back. Fantastic. So thank you. So there's the lighthouse down there. So the runners who have gone the wrong way will... They're not going to get lost because they'll just come along that route and, and back up the way they came. Whether it's a longer uh, or shorter route, I don't know. Um, but uh, this is the 10k route. Good morning. Yeah, there's some runners coming down the hill there, look. I hope they don't get sent back all the way round. <laughs> so we are eight and a half K, nearly nine K into the uh, Purbeck 10k live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Hopefully you've had a signal most, all if not, most if not all of the way round. And uh, we've done, I think probably about 200 meters, 250 meters of climb on this 10k route. This backpack, there's something digging in, something digging into my back. And I, I dread to think when I take my backpack and my shirt off, I'm gonna have an almighty digging cut in my back. I don't know what it is it's digging in, but it's very painful. So uh, any future live streamed runs, it's gonna have to be a different, more comfortable backpack, maybe a proper running backpack, because this one has not passed the test, let me tell you that. So here's the 9k marker. And I've got 
on my watch. So that's not bad at all. About right, just over a kilometre left then. It is just a bit more than 10k. And the other runners who went the wrong way are rejoining just here, look. So I think we've got, we've had the shorter route of the ones that went the wrong way. Where were they going wrong? Um, there was a gate and the signposting wasn't quite clear enough. It kind of, before the gate, it said a left turn. Yeah. And then when you went through the gate, it went like that. It, yes, but it, it, the obvious route is straight ahead. Yeah. So most people just saw that first sign and went straight ahead. Yeah. They didn't see the second sign that was just a bit further up yeah. on the left-hand side. And I probably would have missed it as well had somebody not said. So it's just that one thing though. Other than that, it's lovely. Uh, yeah, and most people did go on the right way anyway. Right, so we're back on tarmac and this is the road we came up at the start of the race. And it'll just be this route back to the finish now. So, as I said, I'd be glad to get this backpack off my back because something is digging in really hard. But I think you'll agree that is a stunning 10k route, isn't it? Absolutely lovely route. And uh, it's good that you're never away from the sea for very long. You can see the sea all the time. Thank you very much, Marshall. <laughs> there we go. So a little drink of water, 1k before the end. <laughs> Doing well. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much for your help, guys. Okay. Take care. So let's jog into the finish now. Uh, we've been going for an hour and four minutes. So we should finish before an hour and a quarter. Thank you. Mostly downhill now. Uh, mo <laughs> mostly downhill. <laughs> Yeah, there was that quite steep hill at the beginning, wasn't there, which we're gonna go down now. Thank you, Marshall. And there's your Nordic walkers doing their thing. So having, they're having a tutorial on poles, how to use your poles properly and effectively and efficiently. Hi guys. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Marshall. Good job, buddy. And uh, down this big hill, round the corner, and then we'll be into the field for the finish. So it is going to be 10 and a half, nearer 11 kilometres, but most of that is a nice, comfortable downhill to the uh, 
where we started the race. Most of the race is finished near the centre of town in Swanage, on the seafront, on the green. Uh, but this race, out and back. One more little uphill here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. Well. You're doing well with that. <laughs> it's uh, steady and white and talking. Well, it's difficult to actually. Normally these days, I use a stabilised camera. Yeah. And this one, because I'm trying to do it live. Yeah. It's not stabilised, so I'm having to try and hold it very still. Wow. And it's quite difficult. Plus, this backpack has been failing me. Yeah. Keeps coming open. And it's digging into my back. Oh, great. But uh, there we are, nearly it's done. quite low. Yeah, it, and it's, it's probably opened up again, has it? Uh, only a bit. Yeah. I'll try and get it. There you go. That's it. Thank you very much. So final push to the finish now. Hopefully you've had a signal most of the way round. If not, I apologise. It is Dorset, we are in the countryside and we were on the coast. So whether there was an, a mobile signal or not remains to be seen. But here we are. Just come up to the turn now to go onto the, the green. Oops. Thank you, Marshall. You're welcome. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, eh? And there's always that little bit more that you've forgotten about, isn't there? <laughs> So I think you'll agree, almost all of this race is done with stunning scenery. Just this little bit of tarmac here to get onto the main coast path. But other than that, you are running on the beautiful southwest coast path for the whole way out and back. Can't beat it and on a day like today, it's at its finest. Thank you, my friend. And here we are onto the field. And coast path to Swanage. So when you follow the national trails, they're always marked with an acorn. So you know that you're on the right path. And isn't that an absolutely stunning view to greet us as we come back onto the, the hillside down towards the finish. You cannot beat that, can you? Look at that. Awesome stuff. So we're 10 and a half kilometers now, so it's definitely closer to 11, but that's perfectly fine. On a trail race, nobody's worried about beating their 10k time. And more often than not, a trail race will not have an actual distance. All of the races will be approximately a marathon, approximately a half marathon, around about a 10k. And uh, that's what we've got today.
and a few nice crowds to greet us into the finish. Hi right, guys! Here we go. And here's the finish. Here comes Steve. Hello, Liam. That's a very quick marathon you got down there. You got to ride the marathon number. <laughs> Great running, well done. Well done. I'm still wearing my marathon number. <laughs> so uh, 10.7 kilometres that was. Well done, sir. Well done. Some people went the wrong way, not to worry. <sighs> Let's grab a drink. Hi there. Hello. So we've got water, we've got uh, fig biscuits and look at that, bourbon biscuits as well. And we get a medal. No, we don't. Do we get a medal? It's a 16 mile. 16 is get a medal. And the 10 kers. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. So, uh, Thank you, there's my Purbeck 10k medal. If you want one of these next year, if you want to run in the most beautiful location possible, then uh, come and uh, sign up for the 10k, the half marathon, well, the 16 miler, the marathon, or the 5k for next year. Well done. Good job. Good job. How was that, buddy? That was a bit hilly. That was a bit hilly, but good. Bit warm, yeah, good. Warm, yeah. But uh, can't beat the scenery, can you? No, lush. Lush, really yeah. Good. Well good done, fun. mate. Thank you. Andy. How'd you feel, buddy? Pretty tired. How did you do? Yeah, I did all right. Yeah, enjoyed yeah? it. Yeah, very hilly. But, uh, do you know what position you came? No idea. No. No. You look like you're doing pro stretches, you see. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> pretended to. <laughs> Good job, mate. Well done. Hello there. Hello. Are we recommending this 10k then? That's the most scenic run I've ever done. It's lovely that was. Gorgeous, wasn't it? But it'll be the death of me. That was hard. It was hard. So challenging but beautiful. Yeah. What's your name? Gary. Gary, thank you, Gary. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. And my daughter's brought me some milk. Thank you. Let me, two seconds and I'll, I'll drink that. It's thank really you. Heavy. Okay. Um, just give it to mummy for a second and I'll. She told me to give it to you. I know, yeah. Just busy at the moment. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for doing my backpack no up. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't. Your equipment on the way around. Yeah. Well, it's the first time I've ever tried live streaming an entire run. <laughs> I don't know whether it worked or not because I I couldn't check the stream. So it probably died a death on the coast path where there's no mobile signal, yeah. no internet. Yeah. But uh, but I didn't really test the backpack before. So two things happened. It kept opening and um, there's something digging into my back and I'm, I'm dreading taking it off because I think I've got blood pouring down my back. But anyway, it, enough about that. But if you've got it, it'll be beautiful. Yeah. yeah, well, yes, that's what I was going to say, really. I mean, how does that compare to other 10K runs you've done? So the first thing you say is not it was beautiful, but it was tough. It was beautiful, but very hard, yeah. Beautiful and tough. Okay, so if, if, you, want, if you want a combination of a really tough challenge... You're not, this is not a flat 10k around your local town, but also as a, as a complement to that, one of the most scenic marathon, uh, scenic 10ks you'll do, then come and do Purbeck 10k next year. Thanks guys. Thank you. Cheers. Right, where's, now, there was some milk for me somewhere. My wife bought me in some milk. <laughs> Well done, how was that? Good stuff. You didn't go the wrong way, did you? No, I don't think so. No, good. A few people did, we think. Well done. Cheers, <laughs> 
So that was the Perbeck 10K. Um, I'm going to log off now and uh, we'll go and meet some of the runners from the marathon and the 16 miler um, over at the finish or possibly at Corfe Castle if we can get there in time. Um, but till then, uh, stay tuned on the Film My Run channel because we'll be back on in a little while. But I'm going to log off now and leave you with this lovely view of Swanage while I recover from my 10K race. Yeah.